Hello everybody, this is Double Pulse, and I'm sure if you guys know, whether you're a small channel or a big channel, you know that YouTube has done fucked it up with their content ID system and their copyright bullshit flags and... Oh, my the fair use. Oh, there's a flag. I need a hashtag. And everybody's been raising their pitchforks and all this other shit with hashtags, uh, where's the fair use, and make YouTube great again. Oh, I'm not dissing the fact that the hashtags actually worked here because hell yeah, you know, whatever it takes to get YouTube's attention... Right on, keep doing it. I'm not a huge fan of the hashtags, but you know, I'll give you, I'll cut you guys some slack. So, YouTube though has not really cared too much until now because they have made a YouTube creators blog talking about improving the content ID for creators. So, let's get into this, shall we, and talk about the so called changes. At YouTube, one of our core values is a belief in freedom of opportunity. We believe that anybody should have the opportunity to earn money from the videos they create and turn their channels into a successful business. That's why we opened up the YouTube Partner Program nine years ago and why we remain the only platform where anyone with an idea and a camera can turn their videos into a full-time job. Now, you don't really need a camera to turn your videos into a full-time job. Hell, I'm just fucking talking into a microphone with gameplay footage, and this turns out to be my full-time job. Hell yeah, right? We understand how important revenue is to our creator community, and we've been listening closely to concerns about a loss of monetization during the content ID dispute process. Currently, videos that are claimed and disputed not only earn revenue for anyone, which is especially frustrating for the creators if that claim ends up being correct while the video racks up views in its first days, right? So we all know that issue where um, your your views doing really good, your videos doing hella good, you're getting views and all that shit, and BAM! Content ID's flagged, and you lose all that fucking money. Hopefully this will, problem will change it. And you guys, about listening concerns, you guys weren't doing that a few months ago, but hey, I'll cut you guys some slack, thank you for listening now. Today, we're announcing a major step to help fix the frustrating experience. We're developing a new solution that will allow videos to earn revenue while a content ID claim has been disputed. Here's how it'll work. When both creator and someone is making a claim chooses to monetize a video, we will continue to run ads on that video and hold the resulting revenue separately. Once the content claimant's dispute is resolved, we'll pay out that revenue to the appropriate party. We're working on the new system and hope to roll it out to all the YouTube partners in the coming months. Let's take a close look, closer look at how it looks when it's once it's live. So before I want to get into this whole details and show you guys exactly the image, the way that I always see the system is that it, it's gonna it's gonna trickle down. I think uh, Monday Matt mentioned this in his video, saying that hey, we're going to. Um, he mentioned that YouTube's new systems and new features that they announce usually don't not everybody gets it it usually trickles down to the highest creators first and then smaller and smaller and smaller until you know everyone has it right but let's take a look at how this looks so if you guys are looking right here you know the first step is videos on YouTube uh, you, you know it starts your video starts off all normal you get monetized money you get all your dollar signs and all that shit on your views. And then a claim is placed on your video because some guy doesn't want you making money off your videos or a company, right? And money will be paid to the third party unless the creator disputes the claim. If, if uh, disputed monetization continues and money is held, now, here's an interesting thing. Is the money being disputed? Like, I think if you're if you are going to get your video claimed, you should monet you should dispute it immediately. If you really do feel like your content is under the fair use or some crap like that and you know something's not right, you should dispute it right away. I don't like the idea that like the money is you know, it's going to be theirs until you dispute it. Now, apparently, here's where things... If if uh, if the creator believes that it's valid, 
invalid, then they can choose to dispute it, and the monetization continues, and money is still held until the dispute is settled. Money held either goes to the creator or the third party. Okay. There's kind of a... I could see it being definitely a good change. But then I'm also kind of curious is like, what happens if somebody decides to dispute your um, your video? Like what, 20 days later or something like that? I'm just throwing a day out there because I would hate to make all this money on this particular video and then 20 days later I get this dispute from this company. Like, are you kidding me? Is all the money going to be held or am I going to get it? That's what I'm curious about. And the thing that kind of irritates me here is there's no punishment for the people who make these false content ID claims. Like, YouTube, I enjoy, I love how you guys are making this decision. I think it's a great decision. I think it's a, a step in the right direction. But you need people... This sounds harsh, but I think it's going to be valid and harsh reasoning. Is you need people to be made example of who abuse this system. You need to take them backstage and beat the living crap out of them with a ban hammer on YouTube, right? So, <laughs> and if that's not happening, then it's still going to be a problem and people can still put claims on there. We strongly believe in fair use and believe that the improvement to content ID will make a difference. And in additional to our work with the content dispute process, we're also paying attention close attention to creators' concerns about copyright claims on videos they may believe in fair use. We want to help both the YouTube community and copyright owners alike better understand what fair use looks like online, which is why we launched our fair use protection program last year and recently introduced a new help center pages on this topic. So this audio, this article goes on for a little bit longer. Um, let's see what it says. It says, even though content ID claims are disputed in one, less than 1% of the time, uh, we agree that this process could be made better. We are making sure that our content ID tools are being used properly is deeply important to us. So we built a dedicated team to monitor this using a combination of algorithms and manual review, the team has resolved millions of invalid claims in um, the year alone and acted on a million more before they impacted before they impacted creators. I don't know if I want to believe that number. I, I'll take it I'll take it uh, as you know that they are working on this. Uh, it also, they are also going to refi restrict future access and, and terminate a partner's access to content ID tools if we find that they're repeatedly abusing these tools. Okay, okay, that's good. That's a good move right there. I'll give you guys props. So you are going to take down, you are going to take people in backstage and beat them in the head with a ban hammer if they mess around and abuse this thing. Thank you. Thank you for addressing that concern. We will continue to invest both in people and technology to make sure content ID keeps working for the creators and rights holders. We want to thank everyone who shared their concerns and intended effects for content claims. It allows us to create a better system for everyone, and we hope to share more updates in the future. Bravo, YouTube. Bravo, bravo. This is exactly what we need. This is the step in the right direction. Sure, it might not be perfect, but it's definitely a right step. And, you know, I can't thank you guys enough. I mean, hell, I can't thank enough. I can't. Actually, I think more of the people who voiced their opinion about this and got, you know, up in arms because, you know, if we never up, if we never raised hell about this kind of shit, who knows if YouTube would have paid attention. Now, <clears throat> I think it's possible that there's going to be improvements and changes to this kind of system before it's live to everybody. And that I think having a system like this where it does kind of trickle down a little bit to creators kind of gives them a room to improve before everybody gets their hands on this, right? <clears throat> but that being said, this is something I think definitely should have been implemented in YouTube in the beginning. And hopefully it turns things around when you have copyright or content ID claims and all this other stuff because it, it sucks. It sucks working your ass off on a video. 
And whether it's in fair use or not, uh, it still sucks. And you're sitting there, and then all of a sudden it gets slapped with a content ID by somebody. And if the, if the, if it's legit, then fine. You know, if it's legit, I understand. But if it's not legit, then that's really shitty move to do. I mean, there's a lot of people who do YouTube as a full time job. And do make the make it their livelihood. I mean, I think AdSense is definitely not uh, the uh, best way to make money on YouTube anymore, but it's still one of the most primary ways of doing so. I mean, you got sponsorships and other stuff and brand deals that you also need to take consideration when doing YouTube. But, you know, AdSense is kind of the way you start. But I'm going to end the video here. I would love to hear your guys' opinions on this topic. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, be sure to leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. I love you guys to death, and I will talk to you guys soon. Goodbye.